Hello everyone, it's Jeremy. Today's video, I got a great, great thing that I made. Um, I took this partial idea. There was a Lego master that did this um, a few years ago. He did a lot larger version of something similar to this. I kind of took his, shrunk it down, rearranged some things and made it my own. And here we go. So what we've got, we've got our Boy Scouts of America Eagle Scout logo display. You can see I did the lettering on the inside um, on the scroll. It says be prepared. Uh, across the bottom, I tiled the bottom for Eagle Scout. One reason just to give that little bit extra thing to it in the darker colors. Another uh, specific reason was to make it easier to dust because um, I don't really ever plan on taking this um, to me, work of art, ever apart. So I try, try to make it as easy as possible going, you know, for years and years in the future that I've got this, that it'll be easily dusted um, going forward. So what else do we got? So I created it. You know, like I said, I used some inspiration from somebody that made something similar to this. They pretty much did the entire Eagle Scout patch, the rank patch. With the lettering around the outside i uh just kind of went with the basic design more specifically on the eagle itself so let, let's look a little bit more in detail um height wise Okay, so let's look at the height. I've got my measuring tape here, and I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it or not in the video, but right at the top here, across the top of our studs, we're at 21 inches tall. So just under two feet. That's okay. I really wasn't going for a specific height or anything. I was trying to just basically go on the dimensions and use what I had. Uh, you guys can see it's two bricks thick. I had to do that just really for stability reasons. We'll flip it around the back. You can kind of see all the, the technic work and stuff that I got to really brace it up because <laughs> it's pretty tall and you know I, I wanted to make it to where it would last. The base is on three 16 by 16 plates and then since it's an odd, for some reason it came out to be an odd number, um, there's a you know one plate, I think one by two one by eight plates right in the center there so it's an odd number of going across the bottom uh, I guess just to get everything perfect you can kind of see the knot that's represented under the be prepared scroll and that's dead center so I guess to get perfectly center you have to do an odd number uh, what else do we got I uh, used a lot of gray you can kind of see you know, building it, you don't really notice it after the fact. You, you notice it a little bit. I use the old style gray because that's what I grew up with, was that older gray. And then you can kind of see the new bluish gray in the wings, um, around the, uh, the chest area specifically, and around the feet. It's okay. I, it is what it is. I'm not worried about it. Um, you just use what you have. I used a lot of the newer white bricks just to try to not get some discoloration because I know white seems to discolor faster than any other color. But uh, yeah, I think I did a pretty good job at least using all the, the white, white, and not some of the faded ones that I have. Uh, let's see, let's uh, do a still shot here. And after that, we'll look at the back of it and see my, I guess, hodgepodge, if you want to call it of uh, connecting all the pins and everything to see the support system. So, you know, like I said, there's a, a lot of support system here. I can see a couple pieces kind of got opened up or maybe just not completely tighten down um, during transport. I'm in the living room right now just because this set's so tall I couldn't kind of use it on my little display area in my office. So that's uh, that's where we're at. I know there might be a little bit more of an echo than normal on some of my other videos or compared to some of those. So let's look at the uh, supports. You can kind of see a lot of those black 
uh, Technic pins. I tried to use those to go top to bottom and then left to right and lock everything in um, as much as possible to try to just give it some stability. You kind of see it'll, it likes to sway if you go a little bit like that. Most of that's from the bottom, just the plates moving. But you can kind of see the also the other point. Um, it's two by you know it's it's two studs thick all the way across, so it's a mirror image on the back for the most part. Other than you'll notice the lettering is not there, like it is on the front. The lettering is one of the harder things to do, and that's actually the very first thing I did was the be prepared scroll just the lettering of that because I needed to know how large that was to know how large I needed to make my eagle above it and basically how wide to start at the bottom um, to start building up. Um, I didn't honestly measure how wide it was. We can do that right now. Let's see. And we are roughly, let's get a better angle here. Roughly 17 and a half to 18. Probably we'll call it 18. It's about 18 wide. And what did I say? 21 tall. So it's actually a lot wider than what I thought it would be. Uh, what else do we have? I used a lot of white bricks, you know, for the most part. They kind of wiped me out, I think, for a lot of my newer white bricks. Uh, try to use a lot of thicker, heavier, longer bricks at the bottom just for that stability. And then you'll notice at the top, we kind of start using some of the smaller ones. Uh, the Eagle, it uh, really didn't take super long. It took a little while to try to get some of the spacing right and just digging out different colors. I mean, you see the, the gray, the black, white, red, and blue. So, you know, kind of going color to color, getting each tray of color out to try to do a little bit. It took a little while. Uh, what else do we have? And then all our Technic pins. I had to order a bunch of black Technic pins to finish my support. I didn't have enough of those, or I've used them on other builds um, already that I haven't really shared yet. So stay tuned for those in the future. Um, I don't know what else to say, guys. That's really uh, what I got. I'll flip this around and we'll finish up this video. All right, so you can see the front. We're back to the front. The lettering, we'll try to zoom in on that. Uh, stay tuned after this video. There's I always do still shots and some music after my initial video is done, just to get you guys some closer views on any of my builds that I do. So stay tuned for that. Um, in the meantime, I know you're asking. Yes, I'm an Eagle Scout. Yes, I'm a Scoutmaster. And currently at the point of doing this video, I've had 11 Scouts earn their Eagle Scout under me. That's something I'm really proud of um, over the last 11 years. So you know, one a year so far to date. Uh, what else do we have? Um... If you were a scout, are a scout, or thinking about being a scout in the future, what rank were you, what rank are you, or what rank do you hope to attain? You know, leave that in the comments. All right, so let's zoom in on this. We'll see what we can do here, and hopefully the camera's going to be okay with us. I think that's about as close as we can get. We'll try to pan up some. Yep, we'll go to the side, and we'll look down at the bottom at that uh, tiling work. Nothing special there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some still shots. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.